Salam. Hello. Today I will be talking about the use of voice and some of my journey of using my voice. When I talk about the usage of voice, that includes the use of physical vocal cords to enunciate words and sentences in addition to the use of sign language, tablets with communication apps, text-to-speech programs, AI technology to talk and any other ways people use to communicate. <clears throat> Basically, any means a person uses to communicate their message across um, is their voice. So, through this video, I'm using a voiceover on a drawing video. The voiceover in this video is my voice with its pitch, tone, volume, pauses, Pronunciation, in my case, a lot of mispronunciations too. Accent, message, emphasis, breaths, vocal cords. My vocal cords moving together with my mouth, the movement of my tongue, placement, the grammar, the message. They all come together to be my voice. But right now, I think I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself. Why am I talking, taking the time to have my voice heard on the internet to a bunch of strangers? <laughs> I believe our voices spread information and messages to the world, whether it is uttered under your breath, the voice in your head as thoughts, to a group of friends, at a presentation, or through social media for a hundred for thousands of people to listen to. Your voice takes space and time somewhere within this universe. I also meant to add earlier that writing, that writing is also another way to express your voice. And that's probably one that we see most popularly by people who have written books centuries and centuries ago. So, your voice is something, although not physically tangible, it's like mysteriously tangible, right? It is something that belongs to you, and that is something that um, represents you, too. A word or a message is only as powerful as its context and it's deeper meaning, right? For example, the word apple just means a type of fruit, but in a different context, it could mean this big corporation or it could uh, have um, divine meaning relating to Adam and Eve and temptation and sin and mankind doom and this and that, right? So, I mean... Your voice connects to the words and the messages that you want to put out there to the world. Your voice is something, too, that, um, you know, can be a controversial thing. If you're speaking out about issues or using your voice about inhumane things or injustice or just problems within your communities and society... There might be more pressure from others for you to silence that voice because it is criticizing what they're doing or it might be viewed as criticizing their core values. So your voice could be used in different ways too. And historically too, those there have been a lot of voices that have been suppressed or silenced throughout history. For example, if you look at history books, they're written by the quote-unquote winners, those who have conquered, those who have taken over the land, whereas, um, so it's written in their perspective, and that's the voice that we get, and those other voices that have, the voices of people who have lost, their, their perspective of history is lost. I had initially written down a page full of notes, and although I read some of that, 
Last night, I could not sleep because I said that I need to do a voice video. A video about voices. And I had all these streaming ideas. Literally, I could not sleep last night, but I couldn't justify waking up at 3 a.m. to do a YouTube video for, like, five views. <laughs> but, <laughs> um... I, it really just sparked an endless array of all these different things about voicing your voice. <laughs> I'm sorry, I could have worded that a lot better, but you get my point, right? I think um, through 2020 and 2021, especially, I'm, you know, I'm living as an American, we're living through major historical events and I think people who do express their voices there's going to be a lot of um, conflicting views um, heading one beheading one another or yeah uh, not beheading headbutting each other and I'm not here to really discuss that because I don't want this to be like for adult only content. However, I will say that during these times that we really do see the importance of one's voice. For example, the 45th president of the United States has been permanently banned off of Twitter and a lot of other social media um, websites. But in that regard, it's because number 45 was using their voice, a powerful one, because they're a leader and they're a president of this modern world to incite violence and hate and spread that sort of thing. And so when your voice is used to harm others and cause bodily harm, it's no longer just a thing and an item, but it's something that um, can be weaponized. Putting your voice out there, though, is such an empowering thing. And I'm not talking about 45 anymore, but just having your voice present, having your ideas and your messages out there, especially where we live in a very instant world. And a click of a button you could reach out to millions of people across the globe that you've never met and will probably never ever meet. Since lockdown, I have decided to make more Instagram videos. And although like, I don't like the way that I speak, I would sit and like re-record, re-record. I started off with just like some funny, easing my way videos. Some, or maybe I just thought they were funny because Let's be real, we all think that we're the funniest person. But I started to ease my way to into social issues that I really care about and things that have just been on my mind. So I would do research and make little like Instagram story videos and like save them on the top of my screen. And it was scary because I didn't really, I'm not one to really like the way that I talk or enunciate things or really present things. But it has been interesting to see like how many issues we could talk about just by me opening up that page. And granted only like a few people watch it, but that's a few people who might have learned something new. And I'm hoping to learn how to utilize my voice more to talk about important issues and to have important conversations and to have more diversity and inclusivity. Because granted, if one person has that idea, at least one other person does. We live in a society, um, not in a vacuum. So I think it's important to voice your opinion and your thoughts and to Talk about issues that are going on because honestly, how can you exchange if you don't start that ripple effect? Thank you.